Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video and today we are going to be going over the Morocco tactics but inside of FM23 it's probably been the most requested video ever on this channel, highly requested, I've finally made a tactic for it and I'm going to bring it to you today so sit back, relax, do leave a like on the video but let's get into the tactic. So we're going to kick things off by doing the testing in the World Cup. Now someone did say you should do these tests with obviously clubs instead of international clubs but it's a World Cup theme, I want to only test with the World Cup sort of squad you know because at the end of the day Morocco squad isn't the best on paper they've got some decent players obviously Ziyech Hakimi etc etc but we have gone and we've managed to win the World Cup with this system and it doesn't surprise me because when you see the when you see the tactic um you're going to understand why um it is actually quite a commonly used formation they do use a 4-3-3 which is always good because it usually performs quite well inside of Football Manager 2023. Now, obviously, this system is more defensive. A lot of it is going to be quite close games, as you can see. Um, we actually started off with a Tuna win against New Zealand, which I'm not going to watch the highlights from. We're going to watch from this point downwards, obviously, including the World Cup final. But we did start off with what is going to be a 2-2 draw against what is going to be Belgium. And to be honest, it's actually quite a good result. Um, we're going to look at the stats and also the goals. Again, what this tactic is so good at, and one thing I want to make very clear now, Morocco, the, the tactic I've made here isn't going to be a dominating tactic. It is all about soaking up pressure. And to be honest, Morocco's game style is to try and get it to penalties. So this is definitely a defensive tactic. It can cause upset against big teams, as you've seen here, um, as you go on into the finals, and obviously quite an impressive win versus Portugal and France. But it's not going to be a dominating, really advanced attack and tactic. This is trying, I've replicated it as much as I can as how Morocco play. But obviously inside of FM, you can't fully replicate it because if you start a game defensive, especially when you holiday simulate, for me anyway, the results were poor. You switch it, they improve. So there's a few things which I'm going to say how you could fully replicate this. But unfortunately, just inside of this game, it doesn't really work out. But let's watch the goals from this game anyway. It is going to be against Belgium in a game which, to be honest, I was actually quite worried about. Um, but obviously, we, we, we lined up quite well and we didn't overcommit. Obviously, we did concede two in this game, but we did manage to pull two back ourselves and obviously get a point. So that's the main thing. It's going to be Belgium getting the first goal here, though, with Carrasco down the left-hand side, just driving... And to be honest, it's not really a defensive error. It's just poor from the keeper. And a keeper that's had such a good World Cup, I would expect a little bit better from him there. But we do bounce back here. Obviously, they've got Amrabat as well. It's a bit of a dodgy ball, but he does win it back. Good good bit of winning possession there. A ball over the top, touchdown, and the hit into the bottom right corner to tie it up 1-1. So quite a two goals inside of five minutes there. We do end up taking the lead here with another great ball through. Takes his time with it, hits it. Bounces off him. Witzel plays, tries to go back into Courtois and he's read it very well. Obviously, a little bit of press in there. Reads the situation very well and gets his goal. Unfortunately, we just we don't hold on. The 81st minute comes upon us with Carrasco and he hit, puts a wonder ball in. And it's a bit lucky off the bar right to him again. But I'm not going to discredit the ball. The ball in was fantastic. Fair play to him. But it was a game which, again, they did have more of the more of the ball. Uh, not more of the ball, sorry. We have more of the ball, but they have better shots. Um, and that is something you're going to commonly see in this, obviously. Like I said, this isn't a dominating tactic. This tactic is set up. Um, I don't want to name it as an underdog tactic, but it sort of is an underdog tactic. It's all about getting results with, obviously, weaker players. Obviously, we're going in as not the favourites at all, really, in all of these games. Um, again, we actually have more of the ball here, a lot more of the ball. They had way more shots, though, and again, it was going to be a 2-2 draw. So we're going to watch all of the highlights again. And after this, obviously, you do know that we do manage to get out of the groups, which is a, a big accomplishment in itself. Um, Modric with a ball in the box, and it is going to be, again, the keeper parried it right in to what is going to be, I believe, Carr, who gets the goal. We do bounce back here, though, with Munir down the left hand side just driving at the back line a wonder ball in and it's a fantastic header into the top right corner but no Morocco what a surprise package they've been let me know in the comments right now do you think they're going to beat France let me know um for me I'm not sure I, I don't know I think they're obviously they don't they don't play this advanced attack and football they they play quite defensive obviously a few games have gone to penalties but for me when you're defending that well, you deserve to get results. Simple as that. As we go through here again, tucks it past him on the right, and that is going to be a nice, easy goal. But unfortunately, seems to be a bit of a curse of us at the moment. Um, Again, as I want to say, if you're playing these games yourself, this is where I would go defensive. Very defensive. 
Porsches, whatever you want to do, drop the line possibly. Obviously, when I holiday simulate, I can't do this. So this goal could have been prevented, in my opinion, um, if you're playing yourself. Velasic goes through and just gets ahead of the defender there. And it's quite a good finish, actually, to be fair to him, into the far left-hand corner. But that is going to be the two draws out the way. We then go on to actually all wins and not a single game going to pens, which I, I did kind of want. I did want to see a penalty shootout. But this last game here, we sort of had to win um, against Canada. And luckily we do. Um, so we're going to go into that and it was a game which to be fair we did actually dominate i mean i say dominate we had a two more percent possession a few more shots but it, it, it was a game against a canadian side who played a 4-2-3-1 um it is a team in my opinion which i think is quite beatable but at the end of the day we, we don't have a godly team on paper we still have to grind out these results and that is exactly what we've done so we're actually going to go one the up here as you can see playing it out to the right hand side back into the center and you are going to play some good football with this tactic as well guys like it's not tiki taka it's not any of this but you are going to see some good goals created as that's why i love showing you sort of all the goals because you can see exactly how they get created as they do get a goal here he goes down and it's a weird finish with the outside of the foot but obviously we do bounce back and we do actually get the winner in what is going to be the 87th minute it's going to be hakimi who's got such a big role to play in this team a long ball over the top there touches it down and that is one of the best chips i've seen inside of fm what a ball that is and a fantastic composed finish and that was to get us out of the groups and then we matched up against spain now obviously this is quite a tough tie um but we managed to win a 1-0 win obviously it is it's not the most eventful game from us i'm going to be honest they had way more of the ball we did have more shots however so it is typically like spain in real life they seem to have all of the ball a lot of possession but they just don't really get anywhere with it um which is unfortunate for them but we exploited that and we got the goal here from a set piece zh and it is going to be a direct header i mean i'm not going to complain i knew it wasn't going to be a pretty game not much to really say about that to be honest but we managed to scrape the win obviously in a game which more shots less possession so i'll let you be the judge of whether we deserve to win it or not we then however quite a confident win here against portugal in what was a game which to be honest i thought would have been a little bit closer than 3-0 but obviously in real life we saw this fixture as well it's always weird seeing the fixture in real life and then playing it on fm because you're sort of trying to replicate it but this is a lot more comfortable than what it was in real life it's going to be hackham zh down the left hand side a wonder ball over the top touches it down hits it and what a striker this guy is by the way but now as i was saying with this system you are going to play you are going to play more direct passes to be honest it's not told to go direct all the time but you are a lot of your chances are going to be sort of approached that way typically your wingers are going to get the ball the striker will get in behind get him in pockets of space we saw there and with passing to space on you're going to get these goals and it is such an impactful way of playing zh of a pen here a beautiful pen into the bottom right and that is going to make it two and if i'm right is actually going to be is it hakimi that gets this goal or assists this goal i saw him somewhere on the score sheet i might i think i'm just lying i'm lying okay still a very good goal i thought hakimi um contributed some way in this game but um but that's the only thing i actually want to see a bit more from this tactic test um would have been hakimi possibly popping up with you know a few more goals and assists something like that because obviously i have got a lot of focus on him getting up down that right hand side because that is one of the star people in this team we then go over to France, and this is where things get interesting. Purely because, look at the drama in this game. We do manage to win it, but this if this is anything like what's going to happen on Wednesday, then I'm all for it, because this game is dramatic as anything. So let's watch it then. We'll go over the stats after. They do go. They do take the lead, I believe, here. Giroud back into Tushinemi, into Rabio, a ball over the top into Griezmann who hits it first time keeper in a quite a poor position in my opinion um but we've got to give him a little bit of credit however we do bounce back here it's going to be ZH down the left hand side taking his time all back across and this striker is on form I, I'm going to check him after this because I genuinely think he could be the top goal scorer I mean this guy is doing everything right Parrot with a ball in another great header something you were going to see a lot obviously Spain game was purely reliant on a set piece winner we are very good at set pieces there is a bit of height in this team Pavard down the right hand side not a player you weren't running at you at all he's done well there into Fakir and that was to tie it up 2-2 so they got the equalizer 
in the 95th minute, basically, to push it to extra time. So nearly we won in, you know, the 90 minutes. But luckily, we do manage to get a goal here. Hakimi, this is what he's so good at. Just driving, driving, a ball in, goes back, actually, into Bareba, a wonder ball through into Harrit, and we catch the French defence absolutely sleeping. And we actually managed to win to go through to the final. And that is what happens when there's not a corrupt ref in the in the France game. I had to go. I've got to say it. I've got to say it. Sorry. But that referee against England was an absolute joke. But luckily for us here, now this is, I sort of wanted a tougher final, as bad as that sounds, because obviously it would have been nice to, you know, possibly match up against Argentina or something like that. Um, because although we've proved how good this tactic is with Spain, Portugal, France, matching up against USA in the final, who, you know, aren't the best team at all, really, are they? No disrespect. Um... Oh, they've got some good players, I suppose. McKenny, Rayner, Pulisic, and Dest, Zimmerman, quite good, Stefan. But to be honest, it was a game which we deserved to, I'd say we deserved to win. The XG was very similar. We had a lot more of the ball. So in my opinion, it was a, you know, it was a guaranteed win if you look at the stat side of things. But we're going to watch the goal anyway. It did come inside of 30, 31 minutes, I believe. As we build up here, down the left-hand side, Ziyech had such a good role in this team as well. It really does get the best out of players. A ball across, and in my opinion, the keeper's got to be doing better, but we'll leave it like that. I'm not going to say too much on it. And it was a game which we did deserve to win against USA, but it would have been nice to have a, a slightly tougher final, in my opinion, just to really showcase this tactic. But I think the tactic spoke for itself more than enough. You can see how well it performs against sides like this. Um, some really, really tough sides, by the way. Um, let's have a quick look. If we go into the World Cup final, we'll go into stats, team overview, and um, we weren't the most. We were third most for scoring goals, which still is quite impressive. Can we go for players? He is. There we go. He actually beat Mbappe. We can have a little look at him. Obviously, he's got the four-star ability. Um, he's actually quite a good player, to be fair to him. Um, but what a player. You can see there, he's done done pretty decent in the Spanish division as well. Um, what a player he is. I didn't even realise how good he was. Um, had the most shots, most player of the matches. What a tournament from him. And now what we're going to do is go to your favourite part of the video, breaking down the tactic. And this is going to be the tactic, simply named Morocco. That is what it is. It does what it says on the tin. Now, this 4-3-3 is very defensive. As you can see, it was originally built off a custom park the bus sort of tactical style. Now, the few things we've tweaked just to get it out in the open is... We play on a balance mentality because the system already is very defensive. Um, to fully replicate it, I would say you'd probably go to cautious, if not defensive. But inside of FMR holiday simulation, it just doesn't do it justice. So we've gone with balanced, in possession, standard, pass into space, mixed crosses, shoot on sight and hit early crosses. Because this team is far from fussed about creating the perfect chance. Play for set pieces because we are quite deadly from them, be more disciplined, time wasting frequently, slightly lower tempo, and standard with the pass and directness. In transition, regroup, counter when possession's been won, slow pace down, distribute to centre-backs and take short goal kicks. Out of possession, a lower defensive line, mid-block line of engagement. I did try it with drop-off more, because I would say they do do that, in my opinion, um, but it just it invites too much pressure on in this game, and you really do notice big difference now a few things you can do um i want to get this you know out in the open if you guys are chasing a game possibly you go a goal behind you could look to increase the tempo um possibly even you know be more expressive instead of disciplined run at defense these few little tweaks that you guys have to make yourselves there's a few things you can tweak with the system so it's quite good because you go into a game if you do go a goal down which typically it might happen um depending on what team you're playing with obviously there are so many things you can do to tweak this tactic to get back into the game then you can revert back but what i will say is we can look at the results again even against the big team so belgium will class as a big team croatia possibly we'll, we'll say belgium spain Portugal, France, even against these teams, even if we went a goal down, we always found a way back into the game and that's without me changing anything. So it can do it and it just shows how well it performs against the top sides. But let's go in to what is going to be the player roles now. I nearly got confused then. So let's go. We'll start with the goalkeeper, a goalkeeper on defend and nothing. No instructions at all. He's obviously a very basic keeper. He's not a sweeper keeper. We don't want him to sweep. He doesn't need to do that. So he's nice and simple. Nothing there. On to the right back. This is going to be Hakimi. Obviously, if you're better fullback going forwards on the left, 
simply swap it, have the attack and one on the left hand side. You want an attack and fullback, take more risks, aim the crosses at the center, dribble more, run wide with the ball, cross more often and get further forward. For two defenders, you want a central defender on defend, shoot less often, dribble less and hold position. On the left hand side, you want shoot less often, dribble less and also hold position. On the left hand side, we've got a fullback on support and he's not told to get further forward, simply so just on a support roll and aim the crosses at the center. The three in midfield, and it is quite a defensive three. You're actually going to have a DM on defend, shoot less often, dribble less, and hold position. Next to him, you've got a deep line playmaker on support, shoot less often, take more risks, and hold position. And on the right hand side, you have got a central midfielder on automatic, probably the most attacking midfielder we have out the three, on roam from position and move into channels. The front three, then, we've got a nice mix on the left hand side. We have got an inverted winger on support, aim the crosses at the center get further forward, mark tighter, dribble more, and cut inside with the ball. And on the right-hand side, we've got a winger on support, aim the crosses at the centre, dribble more, run wide with the ball, cross more often, and stay wider. And the last player is going to be an advance forward, the striker. Obviously, we got so many goals out of our striker. Shoot more often and move into channels. But that is going to be the tactic broken down. So if you guys have copied it click for click, I do appreciate you guys taking the time to sort of, you know, watch this segment of the video where I go over how I made the tactic, what you can do to possibly tweak it. But if you guys do want the easy option, you can download all of these tactics from the FM Scout website, which you can find by simply typing in FM Scout on Google. It will come up the first website. It's very commonly used by the FM community and it will be on there. But that is going to be it for me today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to leave a like. Do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for 4K, by the way. It does mean a lot. But that is going to be it, and I will see you in the next one.